You do realize that atheists are evil, right? Hey there, and what are you talking about? Think about it. Hitler, Stalin, Pol Pot, Mao, they were all atheists and they were all mass murderers. They caused the worst genocides in the history of humanity. First of all, let's leave Hitler out of this bunch. He was a self-proclaimed Christian and also a self-appointed agent of the Almighty Creator, which would make for a pretty lousy atheist, don't you think? Okay, but the rest of them were full-on atheists, and they were all evil, so my point stands. That's kind of like saying that all Catholics are pedophiles because of those child-molesting priests. You're still not getting what I'm saying. They were all leaders of atheistic regimes, which is what you militate for, and look what happened. I don't know where you get these ideas from. I would never support an atheistic regime that doesn't allow people to believe in whatever the hell they want. In fact, I would oppose it just as much as I would oppose a theocracy. I am not for an atheistic government, but for a secular one. A government that is absolutely impartial to religion. But you want to get rid of religion. No, I honestly wouldn't give a crap about what people believe in. But unfortunately, more often than not, people's beliefs influence their actions and their ideologies. This is why in the 21st century people are still getting stoned to death for adultery or hanged for being gay. This is why the President of the United States can publicly declare holy war on another nation. And why people are still voting on civil rights. And why they believe that having as many children as you can is a mighty good idea. This is why in my own country creationism is still taught in schools. What I want is for religion to stop being an influential factor in social, political and economical matters. Yes, but look at Hitler and Stalin and Pol Pot and Mao, they were all atheists and they were evil. Haven't we been through this already? Hitler was not an atheist. And these people did not commit crimes because they were critical of religion. They ascribed to social-political ideologies that were just as dogmatic as religion is. Do you really believe that Stalin was killing people left and right because he wanted to promote values like humanism and freedom of speech and skeptical thinking? Because this is what myself and others are trying to do here. But you cannot deny that the atheistic nations are more violent than the religious ones. Of course I can deny it. Look at countries like Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Israel, Colombia, Guatemala, Venezuela, Mexico or even the United States and compare the crime rates and generally the level of violence with countries like Sweden, Norway, Denmark or Japan, if anything you will find that there is absolutely no correlation between people being non-believers and the same people being a violent nation. But think about people like Hitler and Stalin and Pol Pot and Mao. You gotta be kidding me. Besides, you believe in the craziest things. You believe that everything came from nothing. I doubt you'll find many atheists who believe that. The Big Bang Theory is an explanation for the beginning of the universe as we know it. But nobody says there was nothing before that. In fact, there are many scientific theories that deal exactly with what happened before the Big Bang. For instance, Einstein's oscillatory universe model, or the cyclic model, which basically proposes that the universe keeps on expanding and then colliding on itself again and again, in an infinite series of cycles, each beginning with a big bang and ending with a big crunch, where time as we know it is destroyed. I think my brain hurts. And there are many other versions, like the string theory, or the loop quantum gravity theory, and so on. And no, we don't know yet for sure what was before the Big Bang, and there is not enough evidence for either of these theories. But the point is, we don't go around saying that everything came from nothing. This is just your invention. And just because we don't know and understand everything about this universe, it doesn't mean that we just have to throw our hands in the air and say that God did it. Look, this is all too complicated, and the only thing I'm sure of is that we did not come from a chimp. What? This is not what evolution says. We obviously didn't come from chimps. We share a common Please ancestor. Shut up. I don't want to hear nothing more about evolution. It just confuses me to no end. You know, kind of like when you wake up in the morning, horrible headache, your butthole hurts, there's 20 bucks on the table and you're wondering why am I naked and who are all these people around me? It's just so confusing. Huh? I mean, not that that ever happened to me. They never gave me 20 bucks. What the fuck? My point is that evolution just messes me up in the head and I don't get it. All I know is that there is no evidence for it. But there is plenty of it. There is evidence in the DNA I and from homology it. and from embryology and observed speciation and the fossil record. Aha! Uh -huh. There is absolutely no fossil ever found that shows a clear transition from one animal to another. Of course there are. Ampulocetus, Archaeopteryx. There is no fossil that proves we came from a chimp. 
But we did not come from chimps. There are plenty of fossils showing our transition. Australopithecus, Homo habilis, Homo erectus. Oh, stop it with the nonsense. You're obviously deluded. But you will see the light. Just wait until something bad happens to you. Like my brother, he used to be an atheist, but then he lost his legs in an accident and then he found Jesus. Which doesn't sound like a very advantageous trade. And if you don't, you'll end up burning in hell forever. Because all atheists are evil. Just look at Hitler and Stalin and Pol Pot and Mao. This is not happening. I mean, you believe that everything came from nothing and that human beings came from a chimp? And you wonder why they never give you 20 bucks? By the way, have you noticed how the banana fits perfectly into the human hand? 